So for this example, for this demo, we're going to use Adobe After Effects. And obviously After Effects is has a lot of different features and you can get pretty advanced. So this is going to keep it simple, just the basics to do a, a simple show or a simple uh, scene that you can project on your house. And then I have other videos where it dives a little deeper into it. So this is the intent of this is to be more basic and, and quick to show that uh, you really can put together something that's cool for your house in, in a minimal amount of time. So uh, I've got Adobe After Effects open here. And let's import a few files. I have my map here of the back of my house. We do a, a walkthrough haunt through the backyard. So we have the projections on the front and also on the back. So here's this is the line map for the back. And, and then I also have this outline mask that just masks out, blocks everything that is behind the house so that the, it doesn't shine through and onto the neighbor's trees or into their windows, things like that. And so that's going to just kind of black out everything around the house. And then the line map itself, I'm going to go from in the mode from normal to screen. And then that means that things that are underneath that layer are gonna be able to, to be visible. So let's see, what do we want to build for this little project? Uh, I know Atmos has a new Boo Crew video coming out. I don't have that one yet since it's not quite available, but let's build some small, simple show just off of one of their, their videos. And so I've got this Boo Crew one with the Ghost on Parade. It's fun and it's got the haunted house setting behind there. So I think that one will be good. So we're going to put that into our project too. Put that into our scene. And for projection mapping on a house, just so we can make sure it shows up as good as possible, then let's brighten this up a bit. So that's easier to see. And I like to bump up the saturation too, just so the colors show up well. There we go. Okay, so we can put this somewhere on the house. Like usually on the front, I have a garage. And, and so that's a good place for something like this. In lieu of a garage to put this on the back, then there's a couple different ways we, we could do it. Um, we could just make a fake garage because this is all digital anyway, right? And we can make it look however we want. So if we were to position it right there on the house, um, I think I also want to do a facade around it too though. And so there's, there's a couple different ways we can do that. You can do it the quote old fashioned way, which it's funny how things become old fashioned so quickly now, especially in the age of AI. Um, you can use textures like these to, to put on the house. So I'll show you that way real quick first and then we'll try it maybe an even faster way. So if I were to grab a wall like this and put it on my project, then I can scale that down and make it fit the house like so. And then I can do a power pin effect to make sure that it lines up with the perspective of the house correctly. Something like this. And I can do a reptile effect as well to extend that to the rest of the house. So quick and dirty, but there you go. There we've got a slot on the house. Or kind of the, the new fun way that people are doing with AI is by generating an AI facade and then putting everything on there. And so I've generated a few of those from Photo Leap app. Uh, we could throw one of those in there instead. And then that will fit right into here, right behind our house. So in just a couple minutes, we already have a facade and we have our, our main video. I think I do want to make this to be a pseudo garage effect here. So I'm also going to grab from my library a garage door that opens. And so I'm going to have as part of the scene, the garage door opens and then, uh, then it reveals the scene inside. So let me find one of my garage doors.
Uh, that will work. And so this is a garage door that opens and then has a, has a green screen. So let's shrink that down. And it's going to go over the top of Boot Crew. And then once it opens, we just need to key out that green background to reveal the, the ghosts inside. Okay, and I want both of these to line up correctly with the perspective. So I'm actually going to put both of these into its own pre-composition so that I can move them together and power pin them together and everything. So let's scale these back up so it fills the whole comp. Some of my shortcuts apparently don't work when I'm in Zoom, so I got to do this the old fashioned way. Pretty much door, same thing. Okay. And then the garage door closes just a little too soon. So I'm going to split that video and put it near the end instead. So that way we get the scene and then it closes. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got our, our pre-composition that has the garage sequence. And let's put it here where we're going to have our fake garage. I'm going to do that power pin effect again so that I can make sure that it matches the, the perspective and angle of the house. That way the, it'll look like it actually is the house rather than just us projecting something. And let's brighten up this background a little too. Oh, doing the wrong one. There we go. And increase the saturation. Cool. Okay. So pretty quickly, we've got a garage sequence against a really cool facade. <clears throat> All right. What else should we add to this? So the, the AI facades are good, but there's sometimes some anomalies or some things that, that don't work out quite right. So I think in addition to that, I'm going to add a couple of my own windows that I also have in my library. I like this circular one. Let's put that in there. And I think that would look very good right up at the top here. On my house, there's kind of a vent at the top right, that goes right there. So I think that would be a good location for that. And then let's see what other windows we have that we like. It's pretty creepy and matches kind of the look and feel. So let's throw that one in there too. And we'll position that over some of these actual windows on the map. So it's a little smaller, but you know, it doesn't have to actually be smaller because once again, we can make this however we want. Okay, so there we go in a couple clicks. Oh, let's put a better door on there too. I think we can do a better door than what PhotoLeap did. Get this kind of old looking wood one. That'll, that'll work just fine. Scale that down and we will put it over the actual door here. And on this one, I'm going to do a power pin again to just make sure that it matches the door exactly. Drag those points to the corner of the door. And maybe just expand it out just a little. And voila. Now we can add other details to this. Obviously, we could do a border around the garage, which I think would look good. We could do some effects in some of the windows too, so it's not just the not just the the ghost. 
Um, let me look what I have in my videos that we might add in the windows. I think I even have a couple window video effects in here we could use. So this one, for example, well, it's got the bug. Okay, this one's kind of cool because it's got the shutters blowing in the wind and, and the, the curtains. So let's use that one. I think I might replace that. Some of these other windows I did with this one instead. Put this one on the side. And it's got the transparent background, so we can put whatever we want to into that window. I'm going to adjust the angle a little bit on this first. Okay, so let's put something in there. Uh, I'm going to put a black solid layer in at the moment, just so that I can not have the facade showing through. There we go. That way you can see it better with the curtains blowing. That looks pretty cool. Then I'm going to save this project really quick. Demo. Let's just see if I have a silhouette or something that we could put in the window real quick. Ah, this guy, this the organist might look cool in there. Let's let's throw him in the window. Hmm, a little hard to see with the curtains in the way, isn't it? So I think because I really like the organist idea, let's. Go, let's just mask out the curtains for now, even though those look cool. And then we can see how that looks with the organist in there. That there. Obviously, you can fine tune this with a little more time and effort, but let's just see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Okay, so I, I think the only other thing I'll do for this demo, because we already have a lot of the elements very quickly that you need. You got the good facade. You can add the different elements if we wanted to add some more. Um, little images out front like sconces or trees um, we can do that let's look at a few things in here like maybe some pumpkins we could add some pumpkins to the front and uh, let's find maybe graveyard elements that would be good for for the scene i think i'm going to add these tombstones out front Put that over here in the corner so it looks like we've got some graveyards nearby and to give it a little depth i'm going to add a drop shadow effect to it that just makes it pop a little like so all right so in a couple quick couple minutes we were able to put together something that's going to look really cool this would be enough to to wow your neighbors uh, and obviously the sky's the limit on creativity where you can expand on this and, and do more and bigger and better things. But even just this is going to stop traffic uh, as people are going by, which would be really cool. Um, so one thing I want to do is to kind of knit it all together so it has the same look and feel. Um, but let me fix just one thing real quick with this organist too. He is, um, he, he ends after about 15 seconds. So I'm going to come in here and adjust that. 
of the case. Let's loop that video like so. So that way we'll just keep looping. All right. So let's give it kind of an overall look and feel so it, it ties together nicely. I'm going to add on top of everything an adjustment layer. And to the adjustment layer, we can apply some effects like the Lumetri and it'll apply to everything that's below it. So we can try a few of these predefined filters like this one so that everything looks congruent and everything matches. Let's find one that looks good. Green's not bad, it looks a little dark. If we do something a little brighter like that. It's not bad. I, I think of those options, I like this one best. I think that looks pretty good. Now, one other thing I think we'll add. Let's add some lighting too, just to make things pop a little bit better. We're going to add a light effect. And oftentimes I'll do a base layer one that's not a spotlight for kind of the overall ambiance. I'm missing something here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this into a pre-comp because I think it's having a hard time with the settings. So we're gonna set this to 3D so the light can actually shine on it. But we should have it up. Ah, here it is. That's the option I was looking for. So there we go. Here's here's kind of the overall ambiance lighting that's just cast across the entire scene. Then we'll do some targeted spotlights on key things where we want to draw attention. So for example, the garage door, we want people's attention to be there. Let's brighten that up so that you can see it good. Oh, wrong one. There we go. And then let's also add one on this window and add one on that window, and then one more down here. And we could shine it on these, these graveyards like so. It needs to be brighter though. There we go. So it looks like we're getting a light cast there. And actually, I want to be able to see the door better, too. So let's add one there, too. So this just breaks up the uniformity of it. It gives it some depth and some texture to have the lighting like this. Oh, there's our little quick and dirty show. Takes a little bit to render this out, but you get the idea. Maybe I will pause the video here and render this out so you can see what the final product looks like. Okay, we rendered that out, and let's see how things look. So like I said, I'd probably add a frame around this garage door and maybe drop shadows on these windows too to make them look like they're, they've got some depth in 3D. Uh, but uh, to show what can be done in a very short amount of time, 